New engineering images from James Webb will have you amazed. These recent images from the James Webb Space Telescope was a surprise, it exceeded the engineer's expectation. We got a series of new images from James Webb showing a random star field. The engineers behind the Webb Telescope seem to have never taken a day off, about a month before this accomplishment, they finished aligning the segments of the huge 6.5-meter primary mirror. A few weeks after that, we saw the coldest instrument on Webb called MIRI, reached its insanely cold operating temperature of 7 Kelvin. Finally, the alignment of every instrument on the JWST is complete. NASA has released new images to confirm it. Welcome to the channel of Cloud Boss. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay notified. First image on the list comes from MIRI, the mid infrared instrument, which looks at longer wavelength light. It's both a camera and a spectrograph, and it's the one that recently reached the coldest operating temperature of all the instruments, a frosty 7 Kelvin. It will study red shifted lights from distant galaxies and stars, newly forming stars, and faint objects like comets. This is also the instrument with the widest field of view, so it is most likely to produce stunning images that will blow your mind, rivaling and also complement the Hubble telescope. With the completion and alignment of every instrument on JWST, the engineers then needed to align each of the four instruments, this involved tiny movements of each of these detectors to perfectly focus the light as it entered each instrument. Since light traveled a different route to reach each of the detectors, the images can't be perfectly focused using the primary and secondary mirrors, and small adjustments need to be made within the detectors too, this is what has just been completed. NASA says that these images confirm that all four instruments are perfectly calibrated, and to celebrate they released this series of images to show us the full field of view of the universe according to James Webb. For these stunning images, the JWST pointed to a small section of a small satellite galaxy near the Milky Way called the Larger Magellanic Cloud, giving us a densely packed view of stars to look at and test the JWST focus. We are seeing images from each of the detectors, the near-infrared camera near CAM, which is a camera that looks at the shortest wave lengths of infrared light, closest to visible red light and will be used to look at the earliest stars and galaxies in the universe during their formation as well as young stars in the Milky Way, and distant Kuiper Belt objects near the orbit of Pluto. Next, we have the near-infrared spectrograph near SPEC, which look at the same wave length of light as near CAM, but instead of being a camera, it's a spectrograph, this means it disperses light, splitting it up into a spectrum. Analyzing this can tell us about the physical properties of objects such as their mass, temperature, and chemical composition, despite being a spectrograph and not a camera, it can still take pictures like these for calibration and alignment purposes, but it won't do this for any of the scientific operation. You can also see dark stripes on the near spec image, and these are because it's a spectrograph, it has shutters that open and shut to let through different wave lengths of light, and you can see their shadow on this image. The James Webb Space Telescope will be looking at some incredible faint objects, such as the very first galaxies to have formed after the Big Bang, so to gain more mind-blowing details it has to steer at them for hundreds of hours to get enough light for a spectrum to be taken, given this in order to maximize efficiency. Near Spec is the first spectrograph in space, that can observe hundreds of objects at the same time, allowing it to look at thousands of galaxies in its first five years of Webb's operations. Also, we have the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, as you can see there are no shutters in that image, also called NARIS, this is the instrument that is responsible for exoplanet exploration, and it will characterize exoplanets by looking into their atmospheres and look for planet as they transit their host star. It can use three different modes to look at three different wavelengths of light, and finally we have an image from the Fine Guidance System, the FGS, which is the guider that helps point the telescope to extreme precision. This system don't generally take images for scientific purposes but, like near spec it can take images like this just for calibration. Take a look at these extra images with even more details in them, mind-blowing, isn't it? The FGS provides input for the Observatory's Attitude Control System, ACS.
During on-orbit commissioning of the JWST, the FGS also provided pointing error signals during activities to achieve alignment and phasing of the segments of the deployable primary mirror. The JWST FGS, designed and built by COMDV International, was supplied by the Canadian Space Agency. To save on mass and volume it was assembled into a single unit together with the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, but they are separate optical instruments. With this new powerful eyes in the sky, our expectations are high for new and mind-blowing discoveries. You have now reached the end of the video, remember to like, leave a comment and subscribe so you can stay notified with more awesome content. Thanks for watching.